Welcome to the OCLC Research Update. I'm Eric Childress. We're glad to have all of you here. So just in case you were wondering um, whether ALA Midwinter was the only important event ever to happen in Boston, that's not the case. We've got a, a nice little application that we've had up for some time called MapFast that displays events and in interesting places in, in Boston. So if you'd like to go see more, you can go to that URL. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to have four, four presenters today, and then we'll have questions. I'm going to give a very short presentation about a few things going on at, at research sort of at a broad level. And then we're going to have three speakers talk about work that they're, they're involved with. So Lynn Conaway will talk about the library and the life of the user. Jeff Mixter is doing, giving a talk on turning bibliographic descriptions into actionable knowledge. And Karen smith Yoshimura will talk about identifiers. So I know you're always, always excited about identifiers, so we've held that to the end. OCLC, OCLC Research, uh, Membership and Research is now the new title of our division. We've added Web Junction and uh, our membership folks, so we actually have an expanded division. We're delighted to have those folks with us. But we will we'll be talking about primarily OCLC Research projects today. So OCLC Membership and Research is a division of OCLC that explores challenges facing libraries and archives. We have three primary modes of activity. The first is community research and development, which is probably our most familiar set of activities. We work on a variety of projects in, in several themes. Those may include working with other parties. Uh, in particular, we often work with the Research Library Partnership, which is a, a group of research institutions that work closely with us. Advanced development, we're often uh, OCLC's try it before you buy it uh, place, where we try new software, new standards, new code, new processes. Not all of them are worth taking over to the production side, but when we find a winner, it's, it's a big help to have us try it out first. And then member partner engagement, which is an area we've obviously expanded with having adding our community, um, uh, Web Junction community and our, our OCLC membership colleagues who work with Global Council and work with uh, OCLC membership at large. The OCLC Research Library Partnership, as I mentioned, is um, a very important relationship for us. Just out of curiosity, how many institutions do we have that are members of the partnership? Excellent. Well, a special welcome to you. As always, our reports, our webinars, or other work are made freely available. That's part of our public mission, and we're delighted to do it, and this is an activity that we, we enjoy doing and getting interaction with the community. So we have five research themes. Research collections and support include special collections and archives, but also thinking about the scholarly process and data management. Understanding the system-wide libraries and activity where we have looked at collections sort of as a whole. If you had all libraries as a single library, looking at, looking at the collections that all of us hold together and doing analysis. Data science includes um, a lot of work on metadata, authority, and classification. User studies, of course, if we can find a user, we, we try to put them under the microscope and see what they're thinking. Right, Lynn? Yeah, I betcha. All right. And then scaling learning is a new theme for us that includes our, our, our colleagues at Web Junction thinking about learning um, and how making it scalable and making it uh, efficient. <laughs> I'd like to highlight a few reports that have come out recently. Jackie Dooley, who is the former president of SAA and, and one of our staff, uh, put some thoughts down about how valuable archivist knowledge about digital materials can be to their library colleagues. And this is a great essay. I encourage you to read it if you're Actually, it's better to go ask your archivist colleague for help, but if you're unpersuaded, do read this. You can find out how much they know. We have two reports in our user studies area, and Lynn's actually going to be talking about this. Uh, the first, the goldenrod cover there, is a compilation of previously published material that we've represented in chronological order from various scholarly articles that were published elsewhere. And then the blue one you see is a um, distillation of content from a meeting that was held in October in Chicago. The OCLC Research Library Partnership and OCLC got together and put experts in ethnology and design to talk about the experience that, that library users have outside of the library domain, and it can inform what we do inside. We also have a, a, a new report, which I have forthcoming on the slide, but it actually came out Saturday, so it's up and on the web. This is a um, final effort from our colleague Ricky Irway, who has just retired, uh, and Amanda Reinhardt of Ohio State University. As you know, many libraries are finding themselves now the new homes for research data as the faculty members do their work and then they need a home for the data to stay and be available. 
Um, in many cases, that comes with no funding because they've already spent all the nice grant funding that was available, and then they say, oh, we have these artifacts. Would you keep with the library, keep it, and, and do it for free? So this discusses and uh, summarizes some opportunities for getting funding for that kind of activity. As I mentioned, Ricky Irway retired. Uh, she did not do all her work. We tried to persuade her to stay. No, I'm just kidding. She did, she did a wonderful job of, of handing things off and finishing out and doing this final report. Uh, she and her husband are now touring the country. So if they stop in at your library, please give them a cup of coffee and say hello. I uh, want to mention a few upcoming webinars. So the, this is a works in progress webinar that will be presented tomorrow morning, just when you get back. Uh, folks from Temple are going to talk about course readings and work they've been doing with that. The LCLC member forums, just out of curiosity, did anyone attend a member forum last year? We have some, several. Good. We're going to be putting on uh, additional member forums this year. This proved to be very popular. It's a chance for OCLC to staff to come face to face with a lot of our members and, and have a, a really, it's usually a full day or half day or full day and um, discuss things we're doing and hear about things you're doing. So look, look for the new events uh, soon. Last but not least, our Web Junction folks put on some great content. Uh, this is, is nice free content for those of you who are aware of your training budgets and they are not large. Uh, we put up a lot of free content on the Web Junction site. Now, it is geared often towards public libraries, but many of these are general, useful things about how to use tools that everyone uses. So it is worth looking at, even if you're an academic library. Last but not least, we're all here because what is known must be shared and some of my colleagues are going to share. <clears throat>